What's up gamers? Welcome back to Disney Dreamlight Valley and don't let the rain fool you. This is a very exciting day. It is update day. We finally get the Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor update and I am so excited to go over everything with you. In this video, we are going to check out Scrooge's shop. We're going to take a look at the new Star Path event and we are going to look at the premium store and Dream Snaps. So let's get out of this rain and go check out Scrooge's shop. Now I am noticing already that there's nothing in the window, which tells me that there's probably not a lot of new clothing items added to the store, but let's see what changes that they've made. Oh, okay. So we did get some new clothes. It looks like I did get one new clothing item today and that is this Monsters Inc. hazmat suit pants. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. Wow, 50,000 coins for this. I don't even know what to say about that. It seems like a lot. Okay, and this popcorn thing, I have been waiting for this popcorn thing for quite some time. So I'm really excited to get this today. I've seen this used in a lot of dream snaps, so I'm really excited about that. All right, and it looks like I don't have this countertop either. So I'm gonna grab this. Thank you kindly. Oh, look at this. We've got another new Monster Zinc item over here. This looks like a little pencil huh? thing. Yeah, how cute is that? Cute starring mug. Oh, cute staring mug. Wow, I can read. It's fine. Uh, this is a Monster Zinc item. We are going to go ahead and get it. Bye -bye now. I think I have all of this. Now, up here. Oh, wow. Look, this is totally opened up up here. Wow. So it looks like the shop has gotten a little expansion. I don't have this random beige bed, so I'm gonna get that. Wow, oh, look at this. Okay, the rug, not for sale. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if there's supposed to be something hanging from the ceiling here. Oh, here we go, these items. Oh yeah, you can buy these. Okay, that's cool, I do already have those. What about this, is this a thing? Oh yeah. Okay, the little curtain. I'm gonna get that. All right, that's cool. Anything else that we can buy over here? All right, this is just part of the decor. Oh, I can sit down, okay. Now let's take a look here. I've got this painting. Oh wow, look how many items are over here. I've never seen this before, this is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Oh, I don't have this desk either. Wow, we are having a really great Scrooge day. Oh, I've been waiting for this. The photo booth. Oh my God, you guys. So many good scores today. Okay, let's check over here. Oh, I don't have this either. All right, let's go ahead and grab that. We are just buying out the place. Okay, and now here I have a bunch of ceiling items, all of these lamps. I think I do have all of these, which is fine. And then can I buy this? Okay, no, this lamp is just here for decoration. Oh, there's a book sitting here. Should we read it? Ergonomic benefits of L couches and their decorative value part one. That's cute. Okay, so we can't buy the plants, but we can buy this floor. I feel like I have this, but maybe I don't. All right, definitely don't have this wallpaper. And we have one more floor that I don't have. That is so cool, I love that. All right, let's actually go talk to Scrooge really quick because I'd like to see, oh, the armor. Wait, aren't we supposed to get this armor for free today? Hmm. I'm gonna hold off on buying this. I didn't see it in the window, so that's interesting. All right, Scrooge. Let's see what the item limit is now. Okay, so for clothing, there's still nothing in here for me. Furniture, however, <gasps> what? The limit has gone up to 1,000 items per day. Whole, so there's basically no limit. There's no way that I'm gonna buy 1,000 items in one day. So that really changes things. It makes uh, dream snaps a lot easier because I can buy a bunch of the same item to use for those. Wow, this is really gonna make things a lot easier when it comes to decorating and getting a lot or like several of the same item. 
Okay, that's amazing, you guys. Wait a minute. I've never seen this plant over here. I guess that's just added decor. <laughs> okay, I was really hoping they would open this up. Maybe in the future they'll do that. Who knows? All right, it's still raining, which is rather unfortunate. But let's check the mailbox because I'm pretty sure that we're going to have that armor in here. Whoa, you guys. Look at all the added things to the mailbox menu. What? All right, so here is our community challenge rewards that are finally available to us. It says back in 2022, the Disney Dreamlight Valley community banded together to complete all five objectives of our follower and wish list campaign. Each goal was accompanied by a reward, many of which have already been included in the valley, such as a villager and house dream styles and valley visits. We're happy to deliver two more rewards to all players today. The much anticipated heroic clothing set and partner statue. These items will also be available at Scrooge McDuck store for all players to acquire. I wonder why though, if everybody's getting them for free. Thank you to all who participated and we look forward to the production of the last reward, a community designed animal companion in the future. How cool. All right, let's go ahead and claim these. And it looks like we have some more mail. Let's go ahead and look at this. Okay, this is just letting us know that there's a new star path. And then, oh, okay, <laughs> these are my dream snaps results. Uh, we'll come back and look at this in a little bit. But take a look at this. Activations. Okay, so everything is just going to be organized a little bit better. That's cool. So you can see here's where I got... Um, all of my rewards from upgrading to the ultimate founders pack uh, when I got a rift in time and all of that. So that's really neat. Offers and rewards. So these are all of the red pieces of mail um, that were rewards, basically. And then in events, it's got all of our dream snaps organized. Oh, I really do like this. I like the way that it's organized. Okay, and then we have other and all. So that's really cool. All right, so we have to try on this armor, of course. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, we've got, <laughs> we have our Mike Wazowski backpack on still, but wow, that's so neat. All right, I am going to go back to my Monsters, Inc. outfit, though, because I love it. All right, I'm really hoping that the rain stops. So let's go ahead and look at the Star Path and the Premium Store, and we'll see if the rain stops, and then I'll put out the, the Mickey and Walt statue. All right, so here is the lovely Monsters Star Path. It says, bring a little more sweetness, beauty, and monstrosity to your valley with the lovely monster star path. Yes, you read that right. Cook some sweet meals, spend time bonding with your favorite monsters, and mine for green and blue gems. Decorate your valley with floating lanterns for atmosphere or a unique floral arch. Unlock monster styles for yourself and monsters university skins for Mike and Sully. Don't wait, this star path only runs until April 17th so 48 days they made it kind of sound like it wasn't going to run for um as long as previous ones but it definitely is I'm, I'm pretty positive first things first let's take a look at the duties uproot the forgetting that's the night thorns break some rocks that's mining complete dreamlight duties and then uh we can activate the premium star path to complete more duties at once uh, i do want to pop on over to the rewards just to show you what it looks like when you are not up upgraded to uh premium oh okay so as you can see the premium items are locked so you will not be able to get these unless you upgrade to premium. Now, if you plan on doing all of the duties and collecting literally everything, I highly recommend it. But let's go ahead and look at each of the rewards. So on page one, we have our moonstones. This looks like a motif. We have this adorable jacket. <laughs> Got some new face paint. The suspenders shirt with the bow tie. 
Oh, some floating lanterns. And our critter companion for the star path this time is this very cute sea turtle with the hearts. Over on page two, we have more of our moonstones, and this is actually locked in the premium, so it looks like each page is going to have different things locked for the premium. Oh my gosh, look at this very cute bathtub with the pink. Oh my gosh, I love it. We get a new wallpaper, another motif. That's really cute. Ooh, a new fountain, a beautiful rosy hairstyle. And what is this? Oh, it's a Monsters, Inc. coffee machine. That's really neat. All right. On page three, we have more moonstones. This is a motif. This is a motif. Oh, Tiana. I can't wait for Tiana. And then we have more face paint, a little plushy. That really cool outfit from the key artwork is going to be a premium item. So you will have to upgrade if you want that. Ooh, and then a big palette of canisters. That's so cool. Okay, on page four, we have more moonstones. What is this? Ooh, cycloptic monster door. Okay, hopefully I said that correctly. <laughs> so this is going to be a door for inside of your house. That's cool. All right, and then we have another really romantic motif here from Hercules. This is a stone floor. Oh, that's really cool. I love that. Here is that floral column archway. We have the swan boat that can sit in the water of the Arpons and look just adorable. Oh, and this is a very cute um, heart cardigan. It kind of looks like that sweater that all of the TikTok moms are wearing <laughs> right now. And then here we have on page five, more moonstones. Oh, a very cute Lady and the Tramp motif. The skirt that matches the jacket on the previous page. We have another plushie. Ooh, the Celia's hairstyle. And here we have Sully's dream style. And a green vending machine. That's really cute. I like that a lot. All right, and then on page six, we have more moonstones, another motif. Ooh, a monstrous grand piano. That's really neat. We have a monster, another monster plushie. Ooh, we've got a really pretty um, halter style top here. The Italian date night table from Lady and the Tramp. And last but not least, we have... Mike Wazowski's Varsity Dream Style. That's very cute. All right, and then on the last page, after you've completed everything and you've gotten all of the rewards claimed, you can then use your leftover little canisters here to get some extra moonstones at the end. So I highly recommend doing this. I am going to go ahead and unlock right now. So when you upgrade to the premium star path, you have two options. You can do the regular upgrade or you can spend a little bit more and get an extra 100 of these uh, tokens. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have done the math on this whole thing. And since I know that I'm going to complete this 100%, I know that this is worth it for me to get. I will get back the um, moonstones that I spend. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Yes. All right. So since I have a hundred of these, maybe I should get some stuff to show you guys. Let's see. So let's go ahead and get the critter companion. I can show you what this little cute turtle is like. This one is only five. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. The door jacket. And let's see. What's on this screen? Let's get this motif. Oh, no. Let's get the face paint for five. And like I said, I'm going to collect all of these eventually, but I wanted to show you guys some stuff. So now that I've unlocked three items on here, or uh, now that I've claimed three items on this page, I can go over to page two and collect some stuff over here. So I'm really surprised that um, some of these are, are so easy to get. Like, these are only five canisters. That seems crazy to me. Um, I do really like this hairstyle. I feel like this is what I should get. But I really like this fountain too. All right. Let's just go ahead and get the hairstyle. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right. I've got 20 left. 
So let me just go ahead and grab the moonstones from this page. All right, one thing you definitely don't want to do that I have done in the past is accidentally hit more tokens thinking that you're buying something because this is how you buy more tokens with your moonstones. So you definitely don't want to accidentally do that. All right, now we have come over to the premium store and there is lots for us to talk about in here today. I am very, very excited to see this Snuggly Duckling Tavern House skin. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. This is a Tangled item if you don't recognize it. And it looks like it comes with this giant tree attached to it. I'm for sure getting this right now. This is 3,750 moonstones. All right. And then, oh, wow. Everything is so expensive in here today. Okay. So we also have this Monsters Inc. tool set for 3,750 moonstones. And it comes with all of the tools and these very cute uh, monster skins. Let's look at the back of the phone, see what it looks like. Oh, it's just blue. Oh, that's kind of boring. <laughs> but everything else looks really cool. I love it. We're running low already. All right, so let's see. We have these small pink wings for 1,750 moonstones. These are from Frozen, apparently. Those are very cute. I might not get these right away just because I want to make sure that I can show you guys uh, everything. I am totally going to get the Boo onesie because this is so cute. And this is 1,500 moonstones. Have to have it. Okay, and that is everything that is available in the premium shop this week. There's no page two, unfortunately, but I am very excited about everything that we got in here. I might come back and get these later, but there's one more thing that I need to spend moonstones on, and that is the new bundle, the new dream bundle. So we have the Wally bundle, the Ursula bundle, and now we have the Starlight house bundle. Oh, where'd it go? Oh no, it's not here. Okay, I may have to restart the game to look at the Starlight Bundle. So All right, let me restart and hopefully the Dream Bundle will be back. Okay, you guys, thank goodness. Um, I restarted the game and here it is. So if you run into that issue, you might just need to close out the game and bring it back up again. Um, here we see the Bell Starlight House Bundle. This is going to include a dream style for Belle, which is this green dress here. And you're going to get a bunch of really fun rewards. Um, it should come with quests uh, that we'll do with Belle and we'll be able to get all this stuff. So it says, spend a cozy evening in, snuggle up in silky dreamlight pajamas and chipped slippers. After that, pop some popcorn, power up your starlight projector, and hang out under the twinkling stars. Unlock an exclusive new look for Belle in this bundle complete with a house dream style and much more all right you guys i'm so excited about this i am going to go ahead and purchase it but i am going to just go over everything in this um and really showcase the whole thing in a separate video because we have so much ground to cover i just don't think that we have time to do much of anything with this but i am going to go ahead and get it just so that i know where i'm at with moonstones Oh, look at that. Okay, so you just get all this stuff automatically? What? Okay. Wow, look at all this new stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, so in the previous bundles, you've had to complete quests in order to get all this stuff that it comes with. Look at the cucumber eye mask. Oh my gosh. I love this, but you just automatically get everything. Wow. Oh, look okay. at this. Okay, I clicked on furniture and now it has a whole section for dream snaps. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we have two new house skins to look at. The Snuggly Duckling Tavern House and the Provincial Library House. All right, so you already know that I'm going to put these over in my Forest of Valor because this is where my like little cottage town is going to be whenever I have time to actually work on that. 
Okay, so we placed that one and let's place this little bell house over here next to my other cozy cottage. Okay, so here is the snuggly duckling tavern house skin. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm obsessed with this. And it does have that kind of bottom part that blends into whatever biome you put it in, which I think is fantastic. Let's just go all the way around it really quick. Wow, look at that gigantic tree. I absolutely love this. It's so cute. So this came with the dream bundle. Look at how beautiful it is. You can see the books in the window. Oh, look at the little sign hanging off the side. That's super cute. Oh my God, look at this, you guys. My little like cottage town is gonna look so cute. All right, so let's try on some of our new clothes. Let's go look at that boo onesie. I think that's gonna be in costumes. Yeah, look at that. How cute is that, you guys? Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed. I love it. Here is that Monsters Ink jacket. Do you think I should wear this one to go to the realm? Or to open up the realm? Or do you think I should wear this one? I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like that's everything in the way of clothing that I purchased today. Okay, now that it's no longer raining, we have one very important item to showcase. Look at this. I'm gonna have to fix my um, walkway, but look at how beautiful. <gasps> and you can sit down. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> it's Mickey and it's Walt Disney. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at the water. Oh my gosh. Scar. By fools. Okay. Okay, Scar's gonna chill right here next to us. But this is beautiful. I love this so much. Man, I'm so glad that they finally added this. Okay, the fairy godmother is being a little distracting, but now we are going to switch gears again and check out the Dream Snaps challenge for this week. But first we have to go look at my rewards, which we kind of already saw earlier, but I'm going to show you guys my submission and everything now. All right. So this was the Minnie Mouse's Festival of Hearts Dream Snaps Challenge. As you can see, I did not do as great as I wanted to. Um, I earned 1,200 Moonstone, 173 Pixel Dust, and another Red Chest. I scored a 72.34 and ranked 16,352nd. <laughs> so this was my submission. I, I wasn't like a thousand percent happy with it, but I did happen to catch Donald doing something hilarious. So I just went with it. Let me know what you think and what you scored in the comments. And if you're interested, I do have a Discord server where we share our dream snaps um, ahead of time and can help each other get ideas on how to maybe score better or if you just want some inspiration it's a great place to hang out and my friend Twee has been working so hard on that discord and I'm so grateful because I really don't know what I'm doing with discord at all but she's been doing a really great job so head over there and check that out it will be linked in the description. Open up that red chest. I have been saving all of my pouches from the red chest to open in my live later on today. Uh, but this one, I think it's fine. We can just go ahead and open this one now. See what we got. All right, we got a couch. I think I have that already. A Mike and Sully bed, which I already have. Oh, and the, um, what is this called? Vegetable stand, which I do already have, but I know that this is an item that people are like really, really excited <laughs> about. So that's okay. I already had all that stuff. That's fine. Let's see what Dream Snaps has for us this week. Oh, and it looks like we have a new section here. We're going to check that out in a second. Okay. Ooh. Oh, interesting. We're going back into another dark villainous, um, challenge this week which we've gotten a lot of these we had so many of these in the fall uh but let's go ahead and read it this is a decor challenge it's called villainous lair make a villainous lair with flair decorate your part of your valley and transform it into your very own villainous den actually i feel like we had this same exact challenge 
in the fall. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. Uh, your mandatory items are that you're going to need four corky and six strong. Uh, and bonus. Oh, interesting. It usually says suggested, but now it says bonus. So you'll get uh, a bonus, I guess, for bold and wondrous items. So they've added a few little things here. Um, this little thing here that says to be completed, I guess letting you know that you have not submitted anything yet, and your little check submission button that's always here. And it's just letting you know that submission closes and votes start in six days. Now, there's also a new button up here that says more details. So let's click on that. Okay, so this will just kind of explain Dream Snaps to you. I know that a lot of people have struggled with figuring out Dream Snaps um, if they're not familiar with it. So this is good to have a little like how it works tutorial type area. And then it explains to you how to submit your photos. So this is really great. I, I'm actually very pleased that they added this for anybody that's having trouble. All right, so let's check on this rewarding thing. Let's see. Challenge is currently being processed. You can expect your rewards sometimes during the review period. Check the current state of your submission below. Interesting. So this is just letting me know that I have received my rewards for this challenge. I don't really know why this is a thing. Unless they're expecting um, a delay in your rewards in the future. I'm not sure why they would add this. But maybe if you don't see your rewards in your mailbox, you can check here to see what the status of it is. That's really interesting. All right. The time has come, people. We are going to vote on last week's stream snap challenge which was the savannah style outfit challenge as you can see they've added some little things in the background too like this uh, shirt on a hanger that's that's cool all right voting earns you moonstones so make sure you get those 50 moonstones every week it's totally worth it let's see what you guys submitted all right. Oh, look, and it actually, they've added this up at the top that reminds you what the challenge is. This is an outfit challenge. It's reminding us right here. So we do have to kind of look at the outfit. This picture is really pretty. I like that one a lot. All right, and we've got, everybody's going to use this scar coat. I used it too. So, I mean, it is what it is. But I definitely love that we've got Simba in the picture and the sunbird. I think I used Simba and the sunbird in mine too. Oh, and there's scar way off in the background of this one. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is really cute. Love it. And we've got another scar jacket. This looks like, is this in the realm, I wonder? Or is this on Eternity Isle? I can't tell. Okay, and then we have this one, which is... Well, neither of these are very Lion King themed. Uh, I really like this one a lot, though. Oh, look at this. Here we go. This is a really good example of, I think, what this challenge really represents. I love the outfit. I love that they used their little monkey companion. Super cute. Ooh, look at this, you guys. This one is very detailed. Oh, I love the pose that we have going on here. Oh, they used the little Simba nightlight. That's so cute. Oh, and we have Simba in the background. He looks so cute. I love it. Oh, and this one is inside of Simba and Nala's house. That's a really smart way to get them both in the picture. And they both look really happy and like they're having a great time. That's really great. I love it. I might have to rapid fire some of these just so we're not spending too long on this. Let's see if we can find a really cool one to show off. Oh, here's another one with Simba. We've got a lot of the same look, but I mean, I really like it. Lion King was one of my favorites growing up. Ooh, here's one from inside the house. Oh, I love that. They used these big um, stained glass windows. A lot of the Lion King furniture. This is really beautiful. I love this. Oh, here's a really good one. I love this. I love it when people use the same thing, uh, multiple or the same item multiple times in a row to make a really symmetrical and beautiful photo. 
This one has Simba and Nala, which is fantastic. I don't know how anybody gets these characters to stand where you want them to stand. Oh, we have a sunbird over here and the waterfall in the background. This is fantastic. I love it. All right. And I think this is a good one to end it on. This one is so cool. They're using a pose that like not everybody uses this um, kind of like roar pose, but I like that she got it right when Scar was doing it too. And then the little monkey in the background. And I just, I love the makeup. I love this whole look. All right, you guys, we got our 50 moonstones for voting. But yeah, I think that's everything, you guys. We covered a lot of ground today. We talked about a lot of things. The screwed shop changes, uh, the dream snaps, the premium store, the dream bundle. There's just, there's a lot going on. And I cannot wait to go open up that new realm in a little bit. I will be live streaming that later on today at 1 p.m. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications so you don't miss out on that or any of my future Dreamlight Valley update videos. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to give it a like and comment below what you are enjoying about the new update so far. I hope you have so much fun today, you guys. Have a magical time and I will see you again very soon. <laughs> Bye.